Hey guys, what's going on, man? Today we're gonna do TB500. I'm Ben, paramedic uh, at the fire department and a firefighter for 24 years. And uh, we're gonna go over some dosing and talk about TB500 today. It's great for injuries. It's good if you pair it with PPC5157. They both work as a Wolverine stack. That's what they call it. Uh, going off my notes, I'm gonna put those in the comments on the dose and all my drug calcs on that. So uh, your TB500 uh, protocol, I got 10 milligram vials. Uh, protocol is two to 2.5 milligrams every other day. If you have an injury, two to five, 2.5 to 3 milligrams every other day. So uh, from what I was reading about BP, uh, TB500 is that the half-life lasts a couple days. That's why you do it every other day. And that's why it's more expensive than BPC. BPC half-life lasts four hours. So that's why you, uh, you're uh, researching BPC twice a day, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix uh, one cc of bacterial stat water, 100 units, all right? And then here's my TB500, there you go. And then I'm gonna fill it up in here. They say the cycle on is like 12 weeks on and take a few weeks off. But uh, you shouldn't heal your, your uh, uh, any injuries that you have in your body. Good for muscle, joints, tendons, ligaments, stuff like that. <clears throat> so here we go. So first of all, I was like, can't go wrong with a sterile environment. So I just like to spray everything, spray my hands. Get my vials out. Put these here. Alright. Spray my vials up. That way they're completely, completely became, uh, decontaminated or sterile, more or less. So, pop the cap here. Give me 500, baby. Uh, alcohol preps, alcohol, it's all the same. Spray it on your fingers, on your hands, hit the area, just uh, sterilize the whole area. Can't go wrong. You won't ruin your batch with decontamination. Or contamination. Alright, so as usual, we're going to take the BPC. All right, the bacterial stat water. We're gonna pull up 100. We want one cc, so we're gonna pull up one cc of air. Inject it in. Pull it back. It's a little breezy around here. We got a tropical storm brewing in the uh, Gulf of Mexico right now. It's gonna rip through Florida here in the next couple days. There you go. Once you see, done. All right, this is all still sterilized here. So I have a vacuum packed in my vials, on this, on these vials that I have, it's vacuum packed, so I don't have to take out the air to create a suction in there before I put this in. Some of you might have to do that. You might have to go in here with your syringe first, suck out one cc of air before you inject one cc of fluid into it, okay? But you'll see here, watch this. It'll start pulling it in as soon as I go in. the vacuum it's automatically doing it there you go it's all in all right here's what I was saying in my other video about capping your needles always put the cap down and then cap it that way done all right 
So I'm just gonna wait a little bit for this to, to fully dissolve in here. Then I'll make another video on how to inject. It's almost ready. All right, guys. Take care.